Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I thought that I would go shopping with you. <laughs> At least window shopping because I want and need a new five-year journal. Here you can first see the Hobonichi five-year techo because this is the one that I have now and I didn't remember that when I bought it it was the first year that Hobonichi had the five-year techo. Show. So I'm the first ones to finish <laughs> the five-year TED show and it has been okay. So here I'm going in my last year and I have thought that one option would be that I write here on the right side 2023. So that is one option because I have the space here on most days. I think there was only two days that I have written so much on this other page that I wouldn't fit here one day, but then I could put the day on a other page. But I don't feel like that I would like to buy a new Hobonichi five-year TED show. I don't enjoy this quote here and it doesn't matter if it's in Japanese or if there would be an English version. I just find that it takes place from my memories and if this wasn't here I could use this for 10 years easily and of course there is also the price aspect so this is pretty expensive so maybe I could find something that works better for me because I really don't I don't need this other page. So of course now you can also buy the Hobonichi 5 year techo in A5 size but I would prefer it to be smaller than A5. I think that's already a huge size. I have now the A6 and that is space enough to write every day. And of course, when we are now talking about what I would like it to be, nice paper, of course, and lay flat would be lovely. Of course, Hobonichi has this, that it has the years here, so that's nice. And it's predated, so I don't have to do that. So it has good qualities, but I just feel like I would like to have something different. One option is this Leuchturm 1917. They don't have a lot of pictures here on their website, which is very boring. Yeah, actually we can't see the book at all. Here, well, some pictures. I think this doesn't have any lines. I think it's just blank. And this is now about A5 size and it's kind of predated. You just have to write the year there. They have so poor pictures that it's blank. I don't like that. And then the paper is a bit like it's it's okay but it's maybe not so good that i would like it to be then paper planks i thought would be an option but they only have this four cover options now and maybe this is my favorite of them but this is now bigger than a five this is 18 times 23 centimeters and it has pretty small space for every day it's predated well you have to write the year but such a bad picture again so you can see it has only like three four lines per day and you have two days per page so that's a very small space and i think that's too small space for a day and the planner is bigger than a5 the paper is pretty nice i like the paper planks paper this is even 120 gsm so that's okay then of course i went to amazon and there are a lot of these one line a day journals what i don't like about these is i don't like that one line a day i don't know i just i don't like that text but this i have to say looks pretty nice this floral option especially here on the inside this looks nice i have to say this looks pretty it has gilded pages so i think this would be like a nice budget option because i don't think these are so expensive the paper is like okay if you write with a normal pen or pencil 
I think this is a nice cheap option and there are so many different covers and they look different on the inside so you could choose what sparks joy in you. Then there is also the option of buying a notebook that has at least 366 pages. And of course, what comes first to my mind is this that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I really don't know how I should say it. Stayology, something like that. This you can get in different sizes. So A6, B6, A5, B5. Well, if you would like it, then you could just circle or highlight the day that you are putting on that page. But of course that weekday doesn't work if you use it for five years. I think it's good paper. I have never tested it so I don't know. And then it has the times also I think somewhere. So I think it has like too much on the page considering that I would like it to be a five-year journal. Then I was thinking about Nuna but they don't have a notebook option that has enough pages but I wanted to give them a shout out because their website was easy and you can see here easily how many pages they have in their notebooks. Many other brands it was like a nightmare to look if they have a notebook that has the amount of pages that I want and even some don't even tell how many pages the notebook has. They maybe just say it they are numbered. Well thank you but if you have numbered them couldn't you then tell me how many pages there are? How many numbers did you use? But <laughs> You are making notebooks why can't you tell how many pages there are in the notebook but okay maybe it differs so you can't tell me that information and yes this was a website that i didn't enjoy surfing on but they have a notebook that has 400 pages you could use one page per day and make it your own five-year journal but they I think they had only like this large size and then in plain or ruled and I think the only color options were red or black. So not many options. I don't enjoy this ruled and the moleskin paper. It doesn't tick my good quality paper box and then it's ruled. So no and then no. Well, they have blue also. Okay. But then when I was trying to find here something, I found this. This is not what I'm looking for, but I thought that this was so cool that I wanted to show you that. Well, it's not in stock now, but I just, I haven't heard about this. So they have this traveler's journal. Then there was a book journal, recipes, baby, film and TV, wine, another traveler's journal, wedding journal, and wellness journal. And I thought that that's nice. So at least they try to do different things, but just the paper is not like what I want. But I think these are nice. So these could be like good gift ideas for a person that's not so snobby about the paper. I don't know, but I just wanted to show you. Then this goes in the category of a notebook with enough pages. So the Midori MD notebooks, I use them now so I know that I love the paper and this is a one day per page so or one day one page. So it's a very simple cover as you can see and I would then just have one page Per day I could here write what date it is and then I write here just the year and then if I want I can rip this but I'm now thinking how many pages this has 368 so that's enough pages for even the leap year and this it, you can get in dot grid or plank but then it's only a5 so that's a bit of a minus but of course you could put this in a nice a5 cover so why not and at least i know this is good paper when we are talking about midori they have a lot of options 
at least when you go to look on the Japan market. So now I'm on Amazon Japan and they have so many options when you look for Midori journals and of course other brands also though. So this I think is an like an endless rabbit hole you can find yourself in. But I was then looking at a few Midori journals and these are my favorites now. So here I have to put two days on a page but it's nicely done. So as I said I want to find a new five-year journal but I also have two other ideas for how I could use a five-year journal or something like that. One would work in this so I would like to have a memory journal for my YouTube channel. I heard somebody talk about that idea. So to write a five-year journal about her channel so when she looks back in future years you can see what you have done when and how many subscribers you had and things like that. And I thought that was such an excellent idea because it's so hard to appreciate what you have now. But if you see what you had like a year ago, so then you would maybe appreciate it more what you have now. And my channel is already like two and a half years old. So I would have so many memories already. This would be good for that. And then you can see the colors change here because of course if it's a, like a YouTube journal I don't have to write every day. I don't have to write like every day the subscriber number. I can write the even numbers like 400, 500 and then I can write when a video came out. So I don't know how many years this could be like valid or I would have the space because of course I'm not having successes on every day of the year. So this would be a nice journal option for that because I can fit here if I use one line per year so I could fit here six years at least. I think that would be a nice option. What was? Oh yes. Okay I'll show you that if there are some puppy lovers. So there are so these are so cute these options that they have in. Oh look. <laughs> Oh, so cute. But okay, this would be more like my jam. So then, <gasps> yeah, this is one of my favorites that I found now. This is again Midori and this has now 368 pages. So one page per day. This would be a nice YouTube journal or like what was my one I didn't tell you about. Yeah, I did a video about my memory journal project and I said then I, that I would get back to you and I haven't gotten back because that project hasn't <laughs> gone anywhere. But I have been thinking about it, how to do it. And this is now my newest idea. So I wanted to go through all my journals that I have from my life. So I thought, what if I take a journal that has one page for every day and then I can write here when something special has happened on that day. My birthday and Christmas and those days are something like special so there can be happen something special every year but mostly on days there is not so much that you really want to and need to remember in the years to come. So that's where my memory keeping project is now going so I'm thinking about a notebook and just have one page per day and just write the most important memories there. And maybe if there is something like bigger to remember, I can put those extra special days in a separate journal or binder or something. I think this looks nice. And here you can see a lot of options. I can show you that lighter color option. So it has animals. It's so cute. They just make so cute things. Here you can see that there are different kind of pages. Yeah, this has also four different kind of pages. Ah, so cute. And this is again, I don't know anything about this price. And of course, if I order from Japan, I have to pay the shipping costs. I have to pay taxes and so on and so on. But these are so cute. And then I would use them for many years to come. So maybe that would be like worth 
paying the costs. And then this, which I have seen in many videos, so this is nice. This is also from Midori, and this is now a five-year journal. I think this would be a good option to replace my Hobonichi journal. And this has also a blue option, which is newer, I think, or I haven't seen this one before. And it's more expensive, but this has blue flowers, so this looks nice. I would like to see what's on the spine, like here, what does it say? It says five years, I don't know what it says there, but this looks nice, and this too. And I think it comes with this PVC cover, so you don't have to worry about your nice book getting dirty. And I think that was my last, yeah, that was my last option. So I want the five-year journal, maybe the memory journal, and then a YouTube success memory journal would also be nice. I would love to hear from you. If you have something to suggest to me, these, maybe you have seen these midori five-year journals that have these doors or windows, but I just, now that I have seen these others, the dislike is like, eh, no. <laughs> If you have any questions, or especially if you have any nice suggestions for me for a five-year journal, or even a ten-year journal, or a notebook that has at least 366 pages, I would love to hear them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments. Bye-bye.